Did anyone notice anything different in our hymn today? <laughs> we all sing the same song, but different parts. You might not have noticed because of the barriers between each section here today. Many people put up similar barriers between those who don't fit what they see as the norm and themselves. In our scripture today, Jesus talked to a leper. Back in those days, we knew that if you had leprosy, you were shunned and outcasted. Today, though our society is more progressive, we still outcast and shun those who differ from the societal norm some follow. Leprosy was infectious, so we could assume no one wanted to catch the sickness. But today, people shun those who aren't even infectious. People are shunned for being who they are or who they're meant to be. LGBTQ plus and people of color are shunned for not being cookie cutter. On August 28, 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I Had a Dream speech. This was a landmark occasion for the civil rights movement and the fight to end racial injustice. Today, our sermon hymn was We Shall Overcome, an anthem that was an integral part of the civil rights movement. This song was also referenced in MLK's speech, and yet today we sang it, but not with one voice. June 28, 1969, it is debated that a trans woman of color threw the first brick at Stonewall, breaking down the first barriers for the LGBT movement. We have so many historical figures out there that break down these barriers and, that, and show that we are worth fighting for. However, as we know, equal rights for all people was never truly achieved by those who need them the most. Today, many, many current issues revolve around people not having the basic right to express who they are in a safe and protected space. Young members of the LGBTQ community are bullied and kicked out of their own homes just for wanting to be who they are. The Black Lives Matter movement is based around stopping the brutalities and escalation of violence against people of color. In World War II, through fear and rash judgments, 120,000 Japanese Americans were incarcerated and held in internment camps after the attack on Pearl Harbor. A whole community was, just, was judged based solely on their heritage. Now, the same situation is happening once again in the US with immigrants seeking asylum. The US is supposed to be a place for people to come to when they have no other place that makes them feel safe. But we have taken that idea and have demolished it. Roughly between 14,000 and 18,000 immigrants are being held in detention centers here in the US. As George Santayana said, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Breaking news. People have been caught not respecting others' boundaries. Sickening. People have been telling others information that was private or not supposed to be disclosed with others. Some topics are hard to talk about openly, so if a loved one tells you something that they hold close to them, please do everything you can to respect that. Whoa. Sorry. Um, with breaking down barriers in mind, we must also remember to respect other people's boundaries. Ooh, I'm talking too fast. Obviously, in this day and age, we are careful not to upset those around us. But sometimes, it is hard to see whether something is okay to do or not. In the scripture, the leper approaches Jesus and says, Rabbi, if you are willing, you can make me clean. This man not only asked Jesus for his help, but made sure to allow Jesus the chance to refuse if Jesus did not wish to, <clears throat> wish to cleanse him by saying, if you are willing. This excerpt shows a very common example of how to respect others while asking for help, but that is only basic decency. Knowing what or what not to do or say can be difficult if you do not share the same experiences with the person you are interacting with. Everyone has different reactions to different to different situations and conversations. In past situations, my friends and I have been put into conversations that include very personal topics. Without permission or personal trust, these discussions can be very uncomfortable. The safest thing to do when you do not know if someone is comfortable with something is to ask. 
There have been times where someone outright talks to me about a very personal topic without a quick check-in to see if I was all right with speaking about it. Then there are other times where someone crossed my boundaries by talking about me to someone who I do not know without my knowledge. We must remember to think before speaking to make sure that our words do not hurt or offend others. These ideas are not restricted only to spoken word or discussion, though. A lot of bubbles are broken just by physical touch. One of my friends is very unnerved by getting hugged and grabbed by the shoulders without warning, while another one of my friends loves to hug people, but they respect that my other friend does not want to be touched. Between each chair, you may have seen some orange string. We laid out this string to re represent the boundaries we each have and keep with us. We sit within these barriers as a comfortable space we all live in. With these messages, may we go into this week with open minds and open hearts.